Hey guys, the token here. I just wanted to make a super quick video showing guys how to set up emails in Cloudways. So by default, emails aren't actually included in your Cloudways plans. You do have to set up your email separately. So some of you might have set it up on G Suite or you might have some other email provider, but Cloudways have actually partnered up with Rackspace. So you can actually set up emails for a dollar per month within the dashboard of Cloudways. So it's quite easy to do. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well as showing guys how to forward those emails into your Gmail account or any other email client. So you're easily able to send, receive, as well as manage your emails in just one inbox. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your account set up. Um, you have your server set up first. Now, if you don't have that set up, then I do also have a video in the description below to show you guys how to do that. So once you have uh, your thing set up, then click on the icon over here on the top and then click on add-ons and then navigate to Rackspace email and then click on the edit icon. And then over here, we just need to click on add mailbox. And then here we can create our email. So this could be like sales, it could be like info, just any email that you want. So for example, it's gonna be sales and then this is gonna be your domain. So this is the domain that I wanna set it up on like that. And then just put in your password like that and then click on save changes. So that's gonna create your mailbox. The next thing that we need to do is to basically connect our mailbox to our domain name, okay? So you can create additional mailboxes as well. Um, I'll show you guys aliases and forwarding emails after we do this part first. So I'll leave a link in the description which is gonna um, take you to set up your DNS records, okay? And what we need to do is basically paste in these details into your domain registers DNS records. So we're just connecting those two together. So I've purchased my domain uh, from Namecheap. So from Namecheap, you can click on advanced DNS over here, and then you can add your uh, email settings over here. So mail settings. Now, if you purchase from somewhere else, for example, uh, domain Google domains, then you can navigate to the DNS settings. Same thing for GoDaddy, you know, navigate to the DNS management section, okay? So once you are over here, mail settings, so click on custom MX and then select the MX record. So go back to this document over here and let's just copy that destination in. Let's copy this. So this is gonna be at for the host, mail server, priority is gonna be 10 and we're gonna set it to the lowest. So one minutes and click on tick. And then we're gonna add another one, which is this one over here and priority is gonna be 20. Okay, so go back over here, add record, at paste priority 20, and the lowest, which is one minute, save it. And then the next one, we're gonna add a text. So actually we're just gonna copy this one over here. And priority is NA, so copy that. So add, oops, so you can't add that over here. We're going to navigate up here to the host records and then click on add new record. And this one's gonna be a text record. And it's gonna be at, I think, paste that in over there. Let's see, yep, at. And then click on the lowest possible, I believe, and then save it. Next one is going to be the C name. So auto discover, okay, copy that. Come back over here set in the C name record. So host is gonna be auto discover. Target, paste that in, and then set it to one minute and save. Okay, so that is connected. Now it's gonna, might take some time for that to propagate, but generally it should be automatically done. So that is basically all connected. Now you can go back to your Gmail account over here, I mean, your Cloudways account, sorry, and to manage your mailbox, you can go to help over here and then you can click on web online access. Okay, so you can actually bookmark that onto your computer, uh, onto your browser, sorry. And then you can log in to your email uh, through this email client over here. But generally I like to um, have it in Gmail. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to forward that. So you can also go back over here, go to aliases and you can create like an info at your domain.com. And essentially what's that gonna do is that um, you can have people send emails there and
and um, you can just forward that all into one uh, mailbox. But if you have like clients or if you have different team members, then they might want their own private inbox. Then you'll need to um, add another mailbox and it's gonna cost an extra dollar per month. So we're gonna click on forwarding email and I'm gonna click on add forwarding and we're going to forward this email. So for example, the sales email, we're gonna forward it to my Gmail account over here. This one is 91 tutorials. So let's go back over here. So 91 tutorials at gmail, oops.com. And then I'm going to save changes. So basically that is done. So your emails are gonna be forwarded to your Gmail account over here. So let's say for example, let's do an email. So sales at, and then our domain, I forgot my domain. So copy that and go back over here. Okay, test email, send. Okay, so I've received that email and that's working fine. Now we need to set it up so that we're able to also um, send email from our Gmail account. So if you wanna be able to send email as that email that you just created in your Gmail account, so that's basically gonna allow you to virtually manage everything from one place. It's very, very easy to set up. So all we need to do is navigate to your settings in Gmail, click on see all settings, and then click on accounts and import, and then scroll down to send mail as. So over here, we're going to add the email that we just created. For example, it was sales at demo store one, two, three. So we're gonna add that as the email address and it's gonna pop up over here, this window. And email address is gonna be sales at demo store one, two, three dot X, Y, Z, and then click on next step. And then over here, we need to add in the details. So what we're gonna do is I'll leave a link in the description below um, which is gonna link us to this article over here, how to configure my email client with Rackspace Mailbox. So you can search for that um, in Cloudways as well with the Help Center. So basically what we need is just these details over here. And this process is gonna work similarly for if you have Windows Mail or if you are using iOS or any other sort of mail client, you just need these basic uh, details over here. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna copy over this. So secure.emailserver.com, copy that. Okay, so we're gonna open this window over here again and SMTP folder, our uh, server, just paste that in, okay? So the port is gonna be 465. So we're going to click this over here and 465. The username is gonna be your email address. So sales at demo store one, two, three dot X, Y, Z. The password is the password that you set in beforehand. And this is gonna be SSL uh, enabled. So add that to the accounts. And then here it's gonna send a verification to your email. So let's close that and let's head back over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to our mail and hopefully, let's just refresh that. Hopefully that's gonna forward into our email. Okay, so over here, because we've set the forwarding before on Cloudways, so let's click into that. And from here, you can add in the verification code or you can just click on this link to verify that you basically own that email. So confirm that. And once that is done, then that should be all good. So now we can actually send email as uh, this email over here. So if you wanna go back to Gmail, okay, so I'm gonna refresh this page for a second and we're gonna try and send an email as from that account over there. So let's just click on compose. And then over here from the drop down, you can select your from email. So click on the drop down, and we can send email uh, from here. So you can click on sales and then we can send an email to my other email address and then subject testing, hope this works. So we're gonna click on send and then hopefully that is gonna send to my email address. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you guys and see you guys in the next video.